Tech Talk with Paul from the Western Experience. Hey, Paul here from the Western Experience. Let's talk about how to take care of your boots today. First thing I always tell people is think of boots as your own skin. If you wouldn't put it on your hands, don't put it on your boot. And it's basically three simple steps. You want to clean, condition, and preserve. And we can show you some shortcuts as, uh, as well on that. But to start with, if your boot's very dirty, uh, dusty, dirty, you've been wearing it a lot, I, I start with a medium stiffness little brush, a fingernail brush sometimes works as well. And you can just kind of get it in, clean in around that welt, get all the loose dust and dirt off the boot that you can. Then you're gonna use your cleaner. Um, we recommend Bickmore products. They're very good products and they're very uh, um, good for the leather as well. So put a little uh, cleaner on the boot, work it in. You can work it in with a rag and then you remove it with a nice clean portion of the rag and you'll take all that dirt and, and grime and everything right off the leather. Maybe turn your rag a couple times if you need to. And now you've got the boot clean, you're going to come back and condition. They make a product called BIC4 which is a conditioner. It does have a little cleaning property to it. So if your boots aren't real bad, you can jump right to the, to the BIC 4 if you'd like. And uh, condition the leather, same thing. Work it in with a rag, clean rag, work some into the leather. This is the consistency of hand lotion. So it's real easy to apply to the boot. It's not gonna run all over the, the um, table or anything else. So apply it and let it soak in, let it do its job. You'll be amazed, you'll come back a half hour later, it'll be gone. It'll have penetrated into the leather and it'll be gone. Then you can take another uh, soft cloth if you want and just buff it up. If there's any excess left on the leather, you can wipe it off with that as well. So, so you're in pretty good shape there. If you're the person that wants to polish their boots, if it is a, a more of a smooth finish uh, black dress boot as an example, we have a boot cream that, that you can use same way. You're gonna apply it with a soft rag. You'll dab a little out of the container, apply it with a soft rag, work it in almost like you're waxing your car. So work it in a little bit. There again, let it dry and then buff it up. You can use a soft cloth and buff it up. Or if you have a shoe brush or we have shoe brushes available, this is a, a natural uh, goat hair or horse hair brush. You can buff it up and you'll just put that nice original luster finish back on the leather. So that's how you take care of a smooth leather. Whether it's an exotic or a smooth, you take care of it the same way if it's got a smooth finish. You can take care of your ostrich boots the very same way. So don't be afraid to, to uh, clean them and condition them. And if you want to put a little more of a finish on them, you can polish them. Um, talk about exotic boots. Let's talk about snakeskin boots. The boot itself will tell you when the, when the scales start to curl up, it's getting dry. You can come back and use that BIC4 leather conditioner. You can be pretty generous, apply it pretty heavy on the boot. There again, let it dry, and you'll be amazed at how that skin will actually lay back down and soften right up. And uh, that's what you can use for all your snake skins and lizards and exotic uh, leathers as well. Um, we sell a lot of what we call distressed leathers. They're that natural kind of finish oil boot. You notice how this one has all the scuffs on it. A little bit of uh, BIC4 on there will uh, take all those scuffs right out. You can work it in with a rag. They even have something called a Apache Cream Oil Restorer. That's designed just for this type of leather. It just has a little more of those properties that are originally in the leather to restore the, the original finish of the leather. So that's if you're running into that where it's showing a lot of scuffs, the Restorer works very well on that. So let's talk about work boots. You know, these are those heavy work leathers. They have a high oil content in them. A lot of people ask me, can I use mink oil? You can use mink oil, but don't overdo it with the mink oil because it'll actually begin to fatigue the leather. The boot may stretch more than you want it to and whatnot. So we have a product called BIC LP, Leather Preservative. These are for those hardworking, heavy duty leathers. Puts a little extra conditioner in the leather. Um, it'll help waterproof them to a certain extent and uh, really preserve the leather. So work boots are probably the thing that, that get neglected the most and, and need the conditioner the most. So use a good conditioner on a regular basis, clean them the same way, scrub them up, clean them up. And uh, the other thing that often helps with a work boot is if you have a couple pair, rotate them. Let the boot dry out, air out. 
uh, and you'll extend the life of your work boot a lot by doing that as well. So a little extra conditioner, um, good product, the, the BIC LP for the work boot. Hey, and I just want to remind you about the boot jack. If you don't have one, it's a good investment. It really saves on that heel counter of the boot. So oftentimes the guys in the repair shop say this heel counter is all broke down and it's a lot of times it's from taking off your boot using the other boot and you'll actually press it and eventually break down that heel counter. A boot jack will, will grab the heel. You step on it with your other foot. You can take it off very easily. It's all leather lined so it'll protect the boot. So good investment to add to your wardrobe of boots is a boot jack. How about those suede and nubuck boots uh, that have just that real open uh, pores to the leather. You really can't use a polish and you don't necessarily want to use a lot of cream on them. We have a suede and nubuck cleaner. This you can actually spray onto the boot and you can do one of two things. You can take a stiff brush and, and brush it up and it'll help remove uh, some of the soiled uh, leather and the stains from the leather, I should say. And then when you're all done with that, let it dry then come back and apply a protector. Now, Phoebe's has one. We also have one from the Bickmore people called Guardmore. Either one works well. Spray a little of that on there. It's kind of like a Scotch guard for your boots and it'll protect the boots. How about those uh, unique leathers that have a lot of finish to them? You can still condition this leather. Uh, this one actually has a, a fabric in it even, so you just kind of avoid the the fabric, but you can still condition it. Remember, it's uh, pretty easy, and then you can also treat this with the um, uh, leather protectant, and you can protect the whole boot as well. So they just take a little more time. This is where that stiff brush works good to get in there and kind of clean out the, the various areas of the boot as well. So the biggest thing that, that you need to remember is, is condition and, and clean the boots. Wear the boots, keep the dust off the boots, and your boots will last you for many, many years. If you don't feel like doing this, come on in. We have a full repair shop. We'll take care of it for you. You need new soles or heels, we'll take care of that as well. So come and see us soon. Please subscribe for another Tech Talk feature with Paul, coming soon.